Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, today we are testing out another new product. I'm gonna be testing out the new Dior Backstage Face and Powder, Powder, No Powder. I'm gonna try this out for the first time. We're gonna see if it works, if it's worth the hype like usual. So if you guys are interested, please keep on watching. But before we get into the video, please don't forget, subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, turn your post notifications on, and let's get into it. Let's start with packaging. This is what it looks like. It's all silver, so they're typical Dior packaging. Um, it says Dior Backstage, and I picked it up in the shade 3N. So on here, it says that the Powder No Powder is the Dior makeup artist's secret weapon for creating an even naturally matte and luminous complexion that lasts all day long. With no powdery finish, multi-use, it can be used alone or on top of foundation to mattify or set the makeup or to create a healthy glow depending on the intensity of the chosen shade. Today, I'm already wearing foundation. I'm wearing the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation. So I'm gonna be testing it out on top of my foundation and see how it wears, how, how much coverage it gives me. So let's take a look at what it actually looks like. So cute. This is what it looks like. It says Dior. It's all see-through inside. It's like a square shape. Super, super cute. And as you guys know, the KVD that I that I recently reviewed, it's also all transparent. But I don't know why. The Dior one just gives me more of like a nice aesthetic. I like this one a lot better, like the appearance-wise. So this, super, super cute. And obviously when you open it, you see all the Ds. I love that. It's the details. The details right here just get me. I love the Dior symbols in it. It's so cute. This is what the shade looks like. Again, it's 3N. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's talk price point. It's $50 and it comes in 10 shades. I wish there was more shades because 10 isn't enough, but that's what they have, 10 shades. So on here it says it's a weightless translucent powder that reduces shine, sets makeup, and warms the complexion. It's a light coverage. It's matte finish pressed powder. So this part's interesting. It says that this compact powder infused in a gel base applies seamlessly on the skin for a natural non-powdery effect even after multiple touch-ups. So it's interesting to me that it's a gel base. That, seem, that seems nice. So we're going to try that out and especially that it says that after multiple touch-ups you're not going to get cakey because I know you guys know there are some powders that after a while when you're doing touch-ups all that powder starts to get like cakey on your skin but this one says no matter how many times you touch up it's not going to get cakey. So that's nice. So basically what I'm getting from this is it's going to give you more of a light coverage like I don't think you can wear this alone because it's not a powder foundation it's more of a translucent powder but with like a little little bit of coverage because there's a little bit of color to it more like a tint if you will so let's go ahead and try this on and again I picked it up in the shade 3n because I always notice people are always asking me in the comments like what shade did I use and I always mention it and I also write it in the description so I gotta remind you guys it's 3n that I'm using so I'm already wearing my Becca foundation and I'm gonna be using my Sephora brush um it doesn't have a number anymore because it's so old, but it's a powder brush. Let me swatch it, actually. So this is what the shade looks like on my finger. It doesn't look too deep. So this is 3N. So it seems pretty close. When I swatch it on my hand, it seems pretty close. So now I'm just going to go ahead and set it. Typically, what I use to set my foundation is a translucent loose powder. So... Something like this I'm interested in because it has a little bit of a tint. I typically don't like to use a powder foundation on top of a full coverage foundation because how much coverage do I really need, you know? So I like to use like a powder foundation on top of like a tint or something that's lightweight. But on my full coverage, something like this I feel like would be really nice. I don't even feel it on my skin. It feels very lightweight. It doesn't look cakey at all, like nothing. Well, this is what it looks like right after I applied it. Instantly, like my first impression is that it's very lightweight. It doesn't even feel like I'm wearing a powder. Very lightweight. Um, coverage, very light. It's definitely more of a translucent powder, I find. I don't find that it's giving me coverage at all. I feel like it's more of a translucent powder. Um, like I said, very lightweight. Doesn't feel cakey at all. Doesn't even feel like I'm wearing a powder. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wear it for a few hours and I'm gonna come back and check in and show you guys what it looks like, show you how it's wearing. I'm gonna go ahead off camera and finish up my makeup. I'm gonna add like bronzer, highlighter, you know, like the whole the whole nine yards. And then I'll come back and I'll check in in a few hours. So I'll be back. All right, so it's been a few hours and as you can see, I finished my entire makeup. I was actually filming an Instagram reel and a TikTok, so follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, because this one right here, 
Let me tell you, I was sweating. It was hard. So go check out my Instagram, go check out my TikTok so you guys can see the reel that I just did. But back to the review. Guys, let me tell you, I was sweating under these lights and the makeup's still on. It looks so good. So here are my thoughts. Still feels super lightweight. It doesn't feel tight or like cakey at all. Sometimes I find that with some translucent powders, especially the loose kinds, after a few hours, it starts to feel tight and dry. Here, no, it's been hours and it still feels really, really good. Finish is definitely a nice luminous matte. It's not completely matte, but it's not dewy either. It's kind of just like a natural matte, which I really like because my foundations that I wear are all matte foundations. So to add a powder that's kind of like a luminous matte, perfection love it so i really really like it i definitely feel like it's lightweight it doesn't feel cakey at all and it just looks really really nice it gives me a nice airbrush look typically i use loose i use um loose translucent powders it looks really really nice guys i really really like it this is the 3n i'm thinking maybe i can try 2n I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I should keep the 3N or go down to a 2N? That's one shade below. I'm not too sure, but so far, I really, really like this. I don't feel like it adds coverage, though. That's the only thing. I feel like it's just a setting powder, but really, really beautiful. I'm actually going to try to touch up right now and see if it moves or anything because it says that even with touch-ups, you don't feel cakey. So here's my first touch-up. So the touch-up definitely mattifies you because I was getting a little glossy there, but you can see that just adding this on, it kind of just like tones it down. Let me add some to my nose because my nose definitely gets a little bit more oily. So even with a touch-up, I feel like it still wears really good because sometimes I have found that with some powders, when you do a touch-up and it touches like the oil on your face, it starts to come off or it starts to break apart. But with this one, it's still pretty good. Like it's not moving at all doesn't look cakey and it kind of did reduce a little bit of the oil but again not making me super super matte so I really like this guys I feel like it's really really pretty I'm definitely gonna start using this because I love my one size beauty I love my one size translucent powder I love it but to give me a luminous matte I'm here for it. I'm really here for it. So I really like this. So if you're looking for coverage, this will not be for you. If you're looking for just a setting powder, this is really nice. I love the wear, love the airbrush finish. And the price point isn't even that bad. It's $50. But I feel like a lot of powders start at $40 to $50. Like Becca, NARS, One Size Beauty. Like a lot of them start at $40 to $50. And for Dior, $50. I feel like that's pretty good because it's Dior. So I think this is good. I think you guys should definitely check this out. But again, keep in mind, it's not giving you coverage. It's just giving you a nice translucent finish with a little bit of a tint, a little splash of a tint. But that's the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what products you want me to review next. Have you guys tried this? Do you guys love it? Do you guys hate it? Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.